Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And good news, everybody. If you thought games like Minecraft and Animal Crossing were too toxic, now there's a place you can go to to narc on gamers that are, are, are just toxic gamers. And uh, yeah, call but them the, out. But this is weird because I asked you, like, what's the rubric? Well, there isn't one. It's just you, 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 you what proof you have to provide. They were you, mean you to me. Apparently. So, um, I'm like, okay. God, so this is called the toxic, it's toxicityrating.com. This is actually being run by a uh, DEI gaming. D and I, it said. D oh, D and I. What's the difference? I don't even know what the yeah, difference is. They, they, diversity they are, and inclusion. They are, they are a No a environmental, consulting. just diversity and it's, inclusion. It's a consulting group. Um, Melanin just gamers, F, what, yeah. F, you know, just so you know, with a couple podcasts. Yeah, yeah. So. They have the consultancy group and... Um, they're going to they're going to tell you what's okay and what's not because you know, there's okay no there's not. no bias here at all. We're, we're going to talk about this because look, this is how I mean it sounds laughable at first, like oh this is so stupid. But what happens with this sort of thing? One, this this data is completely misinterpreted. It's collected the way it's collected is just not very kosher. And then media outlets a lot of times will run with this data and it'll blow up into a big thing. We'll talk about some other examples that, that we've run across like Transparency Tube, which was trying to call out like toxic YouTube channels, including us. Um, and uh, we, yeah, we weren't, but you know. Yeah, and they shut down because of like lack of interest and backlash, I believe. And you know, we had another one too, uh, checkmyads.org. They were going Not around. Not compare with checkmyass.org. Not checkmyass, I'm sure that's something, but they were going around trying to uh, get people to narc on certain websites for having problematic content a couple of years ago and a lot of the ad networks were falling for them. What would happen is, you know, this data would be used by uh, advertisers, it would be used by the government even to to wage war, or continue to wage war on gamers. And mm -hmm. it's 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 a bullshit site. Because my first thing as a teacher, I'm like, what's the rubric? Like, what what are the guidelines? I People mean, said mean things to you online. I mean, that's... I'm thinking, okay, well, you have to provide proof. Yeah. That's, I mean, I'm, we're going to look through it, but so far it doesn't seem like that is the case. And I'm like, so that anybody could say anything yes. doesn't mean it's true. Yes. The data could be changed in any way, shape, or form, easily manipulated. And then you're like, this is the data. Okay. That, that's what they're going to do. Just like do. transparency tube. Like when we yeah. have the transparency tube issue, um, they kept listing us as um, anti-woke and then put us on the right. Well, we neither one of you, if you watch our channel, know that we don't, we're, we're not Republican. Um, usually when we do tests, we're center left, but anyway, they kept doing that and we kept saying that's not true and they would not, they refused to change it. They basically, we had our people look at it again. It's their friends on, it was their friends on Twitter at that time. Yeah. That, that's how they were vetting this data. So what, what they do is these organizations, these consulting firms, and this was started by another guy that was like part of some uh, consultancy or something, but they'll use this data and then they will go basically try to get themselves a cookie with different corporations. Be like, look, we've got all this data that these channels are toxic. And you know, you need to one, bring me in to, uh, talk to your people and pay me lots of money for that. And two, uh, shut these channels down. And three, we're going to write a whole bunch of hit pieces on people that, that spend money with these channels. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the, the point well, the of this is they used it. They were using transparency tube to use to like, they were, look, these people are labeled this. Ha ha ha. We can um, go after them. You I know? think that, that, um, I want to say that, uh, what was it? Uh, rewriting Ripley. Rewriting Ripley. Go yeah, on. they were citing it. There were some other news outlets that were citing transparency tubes. That's what this is going to be used for. Basically, this is going to be used. This faulty data is going to be used to attack gamers. The media is going to use it to attack gamers. And be like, wow, Call of Duty is like you know eighty eight percent toxic. No, oh my god, fair. have you never played it? I was going to say. To be fair, some of the ones are saying, oh, there's a lot of toxicity. Have you, have you played the games? Because clearly, I mean, anybody goes on there. It doesn't matter. They're equal opportunity. They don't care what race, gender, sexual orientation you are. They're going to talk to you in the same way. Some of a the lot of times it's children. Some of the games on here are absolutely fucking ridiculous. Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing is on oh, here. It's coming soon. Okay, so what? Okay, yeah, this whole thing is okay. Well, let's talk about. It. Gotta give a hat tip to Grums who pointed this out, and uh, he's been he's been taking a lot of hits from from these uh, folks lately. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go through this website. We're gonna take a look at it, and uh, maybe we'll run this. We'll run this video too. They have a little trailer up for it, and again, this is just gonna be used as more. I mean, it sounds like ah oh, ha ha ha. This is so funny, but this is gonna be used 
as more ammo against gamers. And gamers are already under attack. They're already mm-hmm. trying to paint gamers as a hate group. Like all gamers are hateful and whatever. It's like it's 2014 all over again. So let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> We're in pretty far now. Uh, before we get in any further, though, please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants. And uh, you'll get woohoo if you do. Woohoo! And Let's go! You got, you, uh, I was going to say, don't do the cringy video game voice, but. Uh, I don't do the cringy. What's the cringy video game? Like voice? if you did like a Mario woohoo or oh, something. Oh, no. Uh, Let's yeah, don't go. Do, yeah, like don't, that, do, don't yeah. do that. I just don't did. Do don't do it again. I wouldn't if you hadn't put the idea in my head. Anyway. All right. So uh, let's uh, let's look at their video first. I think we're gonna put the headphones on here. And I love it. They're like I laugh so hard. It, it's it's like I mean this is like a parody. This is like in a world where video games exist and gamers say mean but things to each other. By the criteria they're going by, when we're we're gonna look at it in a minute, like these things that you don't have to provide proof of. Pretty much any game ever is going to fail in some way. There's yeah. just no way. Yeah. Like, I mean, Animal Crossing, they were mad because, oh, that is African American hair and no other culture could ever oh have. Oh my God. Is that what, is that why Animal Crossing like, is on the list? Cultures, a lot of cultures do have braids and, and, and buns. It's, it's not, the poofs is not just them. The Afro poofs. I know. Is that why it's on the list? Is that because of all the games? Why the fuck would you put Animal Crossing? There are a lot of people who aren't, you know, ethnically, they, they aren't, they don't look, I think, but white, okay, and their skin tone. But they have hair that's ethnic hair. I, I, my one friend did. It, it, it happens all the time. I'm telling you, I got a big ass afro under this hat. No, People you don't. don't believe me. He's lying. I got a small ass afro under this hat. He's lying. Got a little bit of an afro, a little bit. Of, Still lying. I got <laughs> Sorry. a little bit of hair under this hat. Okay, that's true. Anyway, okay. <laughs> anyway, let's 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 take a look at this. Let's take a look at this thing. Morning. It's video contest. graphic content. Graphic. Every game gets a rating, okay? Dun dun dun. You hear this ominous music? Oh my god, look at this. I've never played any of these games before ever. I know, right? They're... These are what they are like, rated on the on the game. Oh my god. This is like this ominous Imagine you know, that. A game that's about shooting people is violent. <laughs> no. This is ridiculous. Oh my god, in the world where gamers swear. What about the online community, though, guys? Oh you my know? god. I can tell you most of them are toxic. Oh, you're a chink. Me either. Fucking oh, bitch. Dag it. Most of them are kids. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Squeakers are bad. Yeah. Introducing the toxicity rating. A rating that we decide because we're us. And, because you know, we're us and we're a, a DNI consultancy firm and we need to justify and, our existence. And we want to go and get more work. We need to get more work. Yeah, so that's what they're going to do. They're basically going to like sweet baby so, themselves into, you know, gigs. That's what they're going to do. Basically, everything's toxic, though. Everything's toxic. To every, so I'm like, so the only thing that's not going to be toxic is if it's completely like non-fun and just nothing. They'll still find a reason. Like, oh, we're going to draw squares. Well, that's insulting the circles. <laughs> the toxicity rating. The world's first. I love this ominous music. The world's <laughs> first rating system for gaming online. No, first for gamers. Well, for gaming it's online, it's, it's not toxic. for gaming online. It's the world's first rating system for gamers. You want to you wanna label gamers as being toxic. So that they can hire us to fix the problem. Well, Jim plays Call of Duty, and that's 89% toxic. Therefore, he's got to be a big Automatically toxic. But, I mean, all these games, yeah. if, I mean, shocker, if you play them, people act like total dillweeds on the game. Oh you know, surprise. God. I mean, everybody knows this. Surprise, you're a Nazi. Oh, my God, they should have a little chart that, like, wow. Well, We've gone through your social credit, and you, you're yeah. You're this basically, basically says a social credit score. Ba- yeah, it's a social credit. That's for what gamers. this is. It's a social credit score for gamers. Oh my god! Don't play it. The game is too toxic. Created by surveying hundreds of gamers in the biggest gaming community. You can just go to Twitter, or I mean, not Twitter. Uh, well, you Twitter too, but YouTube <laughs> or Twitch, and watch people and know how people behave on games. It's nothing new. I mean, oh my is, god! Is it right? A lot of times, no. But I'm saying this is not like a shock to this, anyone. This is absolutely a – that's going to be the title of the video. This is a social credit score for gamers. Pretty Finally, much. what everybody has always wanted, what everyone has always I mean, wanted. I really wish some people would lay off some of the crap they talk, but – Don't play with been, them. Yeah, it's, 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 I don't play Block them. them. Don't I play don't with play them. I don't play it because of that. You, know, you can't play Animal Crossing anymore because too many Apparently. Nazis. <laughs> too many Nazis in Animal Crossing. Walker, oh no. Walker, <laughs> what did you do? Isabel – such a bitch. Anyway, go ahead. Oh 
my God. This is Orwellian. This is like <laughs> to show parents and gamers. No, 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 no. To show prospective clients. Yeah. To show prospective okay, clients why you need to hire us. What's this? Why are you doing this? To what end? What is the solution from this? Like, what's what's the what's the outcome? Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, your mother's a fucking you're whore. The only reason you're born is somebody fucking your dirty little package. They just they just realized that Call of Duty has a lot of shit talk. Fortnite does. Get the ratings for the biggest games. The most problematic games. By Animal Crossing. Help us make the industry uh -huh, an inclusive space for all. There's okay. No way to make it inclusive for all because there's so many different types of people there's just no way short of just putting a blank screen up and saying there's your game there and even that color of the screen if it's a white screen well that's problematic if it's a black screen that's problematic there's no literal fucking way don't Ding me don't play games that aren't right for you don't play with people that you think are assholes if you're a parent watch what your kids are playing it's not that hard don't let your if you're a parent watch yeah watch what your kids are playing don't let them play with strangers you know what i'm saying like i mean you can play online set up a private server you don't want to be harassed up a private server with people you know and trust who aren't going to call you well, I mean, slurs. The, ex you know? the examples I, I, they're given yes are con i would definitely agree are considered like block you know, report, examples move yes on. Examples like, of the behavior, correct? No, this is but, about this is about them getting a gig for themselves. I was going to say those are examples they're showing, but they're doing a reporting system that doesn't actually have you provide proof. I don't no. believe. No, we're gonna no, uh, we're gonna go through this uh, and see what was involved. Dun 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 dun. Oh my god, the watch. the watch! Oh, for fuck's sake, this is fucking stupid. All right, so let's go. Let's go to their uh, web page here at toxicityrating.com. Um, Seventy-eight percent people experience toxicity playing Call of Duty. No shit. Seventy-five percent probably N-word. I'm I'm guessing N-word. Yes. Gender discrimination. Sixty-seven percent. Direct violent threats. Now, do they? Not, yes. They do they? Okay, we've got this game is literally about shooting and killing people. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. I mean, what? Okay, what are you supposed to? Do? Okay, yeah, literally, you're playing this game. What are you supposed to say? I. What, this, I you, what? You know? Would you like some tea after I shoot you in the head? I mean, yeah, after I shoot you in the face. Let's be friends. Fortnite, uh, seventy six percent toxic. Mostly Mine, squeakers. Minecraft is sixty two percent toxic. They shouldn't let this game in schools. Why are you letting them play this game in schools? Apex Legends, which I forgot existed, seventy six percent. Valorant. Well, yeah, Valorant, I'll give you a 77%. Coming soon, Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing. Fucking Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing. Rocket League coming soon. Destiny 2, Halo Infinite, GTA. Animal Crossing. One of these things it is, not like, is not like the other. Fucking <laughs> Animal Crossing. Oh, Can I've I seen some toxicity out of it. It was people having hissy fits. People put buns on their character. There oh was a lot God. of racism, but it wasn't the racism that they would try to tell you it was. So okay, let's let's go let's go do let's, let's do Animal Crossing. Can we do it? Yeah, we'll do the survey. Okay. Okay. Animal we're Crossing. gonna do Animal Crossing. Because we play a lot of Animal Crossing. I haven't right. lately, but yes. Please indicate if the interactive user-generated aspects of this game, such as audio and/or text, include any of the following types of content: sexuality. Please indicate if the interactive user-generated aspects of this game, such as audio, video, text, include any descriptions of, inferences of, references to, or depictions of sexuality, suggestiveness, provocative attire, or nudity. Yes, because those animals are like half naked. Please rate the level of sexuality from mild to extreme. Mild. I, I wouldn't would even say, say I wouldn't even say yes, but that's just me. Yeah. Let's see. Please. Um yeah, controlled substances. Please indicate if <laughs> the interactive user generated aspects of the game include references to or use of illegal drugs, abuse prescription drugs, alcohol or tobacco. Well, you do have to buy medicine if you get stung by bees. Yes. But I don't know whether it's illegal or not, though. Mild. Crude humor. Please indicate if the interactive user-generated aspects of this game include references to bodily functions such as belching, flatulence, flatulence or vomiting, used for humorous, offensive, or derogatory purposes. I think so. Maybe. If you fart, yes, burp or puke for offensive purposes or for being funny. Wait, what? I'm I'm unsure if Animal Crossing has flatulence or not. Uh, I would say mild if it does. Uh, racism. Please indicate if the interactive user-generated aspects of this game include the usage of, inference of, or description of racist, xenophobic, and race-based discrimination and or hate. No. No. I don't think so. 
Violence. Please indicate the interactive user-generated aspects of this game include descriptions of or inference of a reference to or depictions of violence in any form. Well, okay, so here's you the have thing. To catch fish. This is user user generated asp. Yeah, uh, actually, PETA finds it very offensive. You can hit people with a shovel. Oh yeah. Hold on. <laughs> okay, hold on. Hold on. Yes. A shovel. Uh, <laughs> you kill fish. You don't kill fish. Bugs. You catch you do. fish. You do. You. You catch them. Okay. You catch. And trap. You in you entrap. You enslave. No, you entrap. You enslave. No. Yeah, because you're selling. They're selling them to the zoo. Yes, you're selling them to the zoo. Yes. All right. <laughs> oh Please indicate if the interactive user-generated aspects of the game include sexism, misogyny, or homophobia. Well, you have to determine if you're a, a, what gender you are, and there's only a couple options. So yes. That's true. Where do you experience gender? Discrimination, gamers' names, because sometimes, you know. Did you observe gender discrimination and violence used together? No. Please describe the type of gender-based discrimination. You could only choose to be a male or female. You can. But that's not really true, but you know. Yeah, it is, actually. To be because you can change your hair to be. Or female. You can, no, you don't really pick a gender. You're just body type, I think. I don't know. I don't know. That's not really true. I think. I think. <laughs> What's your gender identity? Prefer not to say. What is not your, your age? business? Prefer not to say. What not country your business? You prefer not to say. I am from Afghanistan. No, 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 that's not true. Don't do. And I'm just, not a robot. No, don't put. A, oh, do you, can you on. prefer not to say? No. Go to the bottom. Can you prefer not to say? Let's find a country I can't pronounce. Uh, I no, am a see, prince from they're Nigeria. Gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna see. I am from they're Nigeria. Gonna, they're gonna see that that's not true. No, yeah, well. That's it. That, that's all you have. That's to do. all you have to that's do. What the term is I am from Nigeria. Animal Crossing is racist as fuck, and I can <laughs> raid as many games as I want, as much as I want. I don't even have to give them an email address. I don't even have to give but them you know, any proof that I was from Nigeria. But your survey says because these surveys. Oh fuck this! Um, it's this like it's like so the price stupid. is right. It's like survey says. Um, or no, what was that? What was that? Family feud. Family, Family feud. feud. See, I'm like dumb today. But it's survey a survey. Says, it's a survey. You're not giving any evidence. You're just saying these uh, things. Yeah, this There's is no evidentiary support for so, this behavior. And some shocker, online gaming is toxic. You don't say. Yeah. So this is um, this is a DNI. This is basically. I mean, I don't know if they, what they are to the the extent of Sweet Baby Inc. or whatever. But basically, their whole deal oh is. Oh, read this. Melanin Gamers is dedicated to increasing diversity and inclusion in the video gaming industry. It is more than a gaming community. It is a show of support, a cry for some desperately needed change, and a safe space, an online and a real-life community for people of color to come together. But what about people who aren't color, of color? I'm white, but I have freckles. Share ideas and feel represented. We want to be seen and heard. It is necessary in the current climate we are living in. We believe that by creating this platform, we'll be able to strive forward towards changing an industry. So it reflects all of those who are part of it. But you're doing a thing talking about the toxicity in gaming. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't, I personally don't think this is a uh, terrible statement um, in and of itself and, you know, whatever they're pushing, whatever. But like, you're, you're creating a platform where basically to narc on gamers, to stalk gamers, to like, and this data is going to be, abused it's going to be abused and it's going to be used to generate hit pieces and that might be the point that might be the point you know um because what, what counts as racism because i'm like i've seen a lot of racism towards people that from people of color towards other people does that count as racism or just does only go one way if you're if you're an apex legend a headshot pro or just want to chat but i'm like you're killing people you're playing games where you're killing people like that's what you but do. It's still toxic. Isn't that problematic in and of itself? You're killing people. Um, this whole, this whole, this whole, yeah. This whole, this whole. I, I, this is, I wouldn't say. I'm not even gonna say I get the purpose behind it because I don't get the purpose behind it because it's it's like it's like and water's wet. This is I mean, the purpose behind it. Please hire us. Likely. We're a dedicated. We're a dedicated group of uh, advocates committed to improving representation as part of our mission. We have created a brand new DNI consultancy with this new branch of our business. We hope to help organizations where, oh my God, sweet baby too, where everyone feels representative and can thrive. 
discover more contact now. So this is the whole thing, in my opinion, this is just my personal opinion, but in my opinion, they're doing this to case build, to go to companies, to studios, to game developers and be like, you have to hire us because your game is toxic. But here's the thing. It's, it's, it's random always going to offend somebody. So. It's always going to offend somebody. And it, I mean, it's, it's stupid. I agree that it's always stupid that everybody's offended by something, but it's going to offend somebody. There's no way to not. And I mean, you can't go to these places and say, hey, uh, Call of Duty, you have to be nicer to each other. It, it's not going to work. And if you get it shut down, they're going to hate you. Yeah. Um, and I got to tell you, it is a, not a race, gender, or sexual orientation-based issue. Everybody goes on there, talks shit. Um, they might say really th- really terrible things that I don't I, – I'm even like, holy crap, how, why would you think that's okay to say? I'm not disagreeing with you on that. But – I don't care who you are. I don't care what color you are. You're all talking shit. Yeah. At least the 90 some percent or whatever percent you said that the, that's toxic. At least that many of the people and they all can't be all the white people only talking the shit. Talking. That, sound, that sounds like Starfire. <laughs> Robin, they're talking the shit again. I am, well, I am ginger. So, you know, I'm going to shoot this bitch in the head. <laughs> Uh, I have a yeah. ginger, so there you go. So, all right. Um, so this reminds me of transparency too. We talked about that. Same thing again. Dubious, uh, dubious uh, motivations. So beyond transparency too, I mean, there are other like quote unquote watchdog groups that go around and they basically try to get, uh, you know, media matters. They're ones they were out there trying to uh, target certain certain uh, political persuasions. But that's the problem. You know, the you have to trust them. Is, trust me, bro. But the problem is, is they go after. People who don't ele- don't agree with them is basically, and, th- yeah. and we're right, and they're they're the misinformation, and it's like that's concerning. Um, that's very concerning. Yeah, and I know that some ad networks they'll they'll do audits too and make sure that you're not uh, you know running afoul of whatever their guidelines are, and they're actually using a lot of them are using like DEI consultants now um, to go through and audit content. So it's like. That's what this is about. It's about, you know, some people, I believe, trying to make a job for themselves. I think it's about uh, trying to clamp down on anything that runs afoul of whatever the, the well, I'm going to be honest, left-wing talking points are. And they're going to use whatever means necessary to smear people that even if they aren't uh, far right, you technically are if you're well, not far left. Right? The thing about this, 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 this watchdog thing, um, they're saying they're doing it so parents will know. And like, well, I think there's there's some merit to that. The flip side is you're gonna it's gonna be used for other things too. It's, it's not for be, parents it's to it's gonna know. be used to paint a picture uh with confirmation bias. Yeah, that that's what this is all about. This this is not this has nothing to do with the I don't think with the parents. I think it's basically a social credit score for gamers and also to, to get themselves work. And this is how, you know, when you go back to like Sweet Baby Inc., how did Sweet Baby Inc. get into so many studios? They went to them with data and said, hey, you guys, you know, uh, you're, you're, you're not doing everything you can do to be uh, DEI friendly. We have a solution for you. What's the solution? What is the solution? Let us rewrite all your games. I was going to say like for Call of Duty, <laughs> what's their solution? How are you going to stop it? Well, are we're going to take people, voice chat down. And, I'm like, how are you going to stop it? Because... I'm telling you, it's, it's even the people that you cl- you claim you're trying to get help with representation. Those people are also on there. Yeah. Talking shit. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. That is true. So anyway, uh, I think we're going to wrap this up, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, just, I mean, this is, look, I- I'm going to tell you, this is like kind of laughable on some level, but I think we're going to see more of this sort of thing because there is a renewed interest in attacking gamers, especially this being an election year. We've actually had hit pieces being written that, that gaming is leads people to the alt right and the oh, alt right again. Again, it's Told all you they were it's all again. starting again. Told you that's what they're angling for. And Told you that this for a while now. This is just going to be more ammo to to attack gamers with. Are we gonna wrap this up? Yeah. All right. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye.